Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 58. As always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 58 to 62. Hey, this YouTuber said, hey, I want to use data validation and get a drop down list, but I want to have an Excel 2007 table. And he didn't know how to add the table name. So here it is. Here's how you do it. You have your name names you have to have a field name and then your um, items you want in the drop down click somewhere in your data set and make sure that the data set like any excel table or list or database form doesn't have any other cells touching it anywhere and there's no blanks in between then simply control t to convert it to a table now the greatest, the number one greatest thing in Excel 2007, in my opinion, is the table feature. Because all of these ranges for functions and formulas and pivot tables and data validation are dynamic. That means if we add new records to the bottom, everything that's looking at that range will update. Hey, I'm going to click OK, and there it is. We have a table. <clears throat> and what we want is data validation. So let's click in this cell here. And by the way, let's click here and notice up in 2007 it says Table Tools Design. Let's click on this. This is a context sensitive uh, ribbon. And there it is, Table 6. Let's name this um, Name Table. Enter. So now that's Name Table. And actually, you can do formulas and use that name. Let's click in the cell and do data validation. In 2003, you go to uh, data, data validation. In 2007, you go to data ribbon. And then that little data validation in all versions, the keyboard shortcut that works. you got to click in the cell is Alt-DL. Allow, I'm going to hit Tab to get to there. And then I'm going to hit the letter L because I want the list. Once it's on list, I'm going to hit Tab. Now, what this YouTuber said is that he was trying to type the table name here from this 2007. And this data validation uh, text box here will not take that. So here's the trick. You just highlight that. You will not believe it. That range, even though it doesn't have the table name, it just says B5 to B10, it will update. It actually, behind the scenes, knows that that's a table in 2007. I'm going to click OK. Now, let's look at our drop down. You can see Ithaca is the last one, so I'm going to select it. Now, here's how the tables work. When you get to the last cell in the table and hit Tab, it adds a new record. So here I'm going to say Joe, tab, um, Hal, and then um, Control Enter. There we have two other records. And I'm going to come up here. And sure enough, it totally updated. So that's amazing. Excel tables, you can just use the actual range instead of the table name. All right, we'll see you next trick.